Good Saturday morning. Today we're looking at the most familiar passage of Scripture, John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. This passage is one of the easiest passages to use to simply share Jesus with people who do not know God. We don't have to come shaking our finger at them, pointing out how terrible they are and what evil things they're doing to themselves. We ask the Holy Spirit to help us sense the agony, the hurt, the inward shame, the loneliness, misery, and anguish that they're going through. That is the way God feels. That's the way we should feel too. Paul puts it very beautifully in 2 Corinthians where he says, God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not condemning their trespasses against them. That is why in every interaction where Jesus is dealing with acknowledged, open, blatant sinners, you never hear a word of condemnation. Take the woman at the well, for example. She had five husbands, was now living with a man outside of marriage. Jesus was courteous to her. He didn't attack her, didn't blame her, didn't judge her. There's no condemnation. Of course, that doesn't mean that God is not concerned about our sins. He knows that we can't be free until something's done about our sin. Everywhere in Scripture, we are reminded that He came to set us free from our sins, not to leave us in them. Yet, what He wants us clearly to understand is that our sins do not keep us from coming to Him. We can come to God knowing we will be received with a loving touch, with a forgiving heart, and with open arms. Through Jesus, God has removed condemnation and brought salvation. In Him, we have this confidence. Grant to me, Lord, to have a heart of compassion rather than one of condemnation. Forgive me for the times that I've judged others when you yourself were reaching out to them in love. Help me to reach those around me who are refusing your saving sacrificial love. Help me to walk in the love and the light of your forgiveness and be forgiving to others. In the blessed name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.